Hey friends, I'm Jill and welcome back to Whispering Willow Farm. It's crazy to me that this may actually be the last video I do at the current Whispering Willow Farm. Uh, I was out here last night with Nathan and we were cleaning out garden beds. You can see behind me I still have a bean trellis to clean off. I have to um, grab those Chinese noodle beans. I'm saving the beans for those. The flower beds are still full. I've got all these zinnias behind me. They're continuing to bloom, so I am gonna leave those. I'm gonna try to clean up and save some of the zinnia seeds, clean out the bed where the sunflowers have died off. But other than that, I am wrapping up the summer garden here, um, and I'm moving on to my new farm. <laughs> and as I was cleaning out the garden last night, I had a lot of emotion. Um, I had a lot of emotion. You know, this farm, this small little one acre plot in the middle of nowhere, really was the farm that built me into who I am. This garden dared me to dream bigger dreams. This garden inspired me of the possibility of what could be. When I walked through the garden last night, you guys, I just welled up with all these emotions and I thought I was gonna be really sad. And I'll be honest, there was some sadness, but more than anything, I welled up with so much joy of the fulfillment of my dreams coming true. Uh, those of you who've been following us for a while, you know growing food is a passion of mine. Being able to teach you guys is a passion of mine. Growing and building my business, being able to serve our community, being able to donate food. These are all huge, large dreams I have. And even though I'm saying goodbye to the current Whispering Willow Farm, I'm saying hello to the new Whispering Willow Farm that's gonna have new opportunities. It's gonna have abundant gardens waiting to be planted. The food that we can grow, the people in the community we can bless, in that new space has me so excited. So while I look here and I see all the hard work I put into it, <laughs> I see a farm that built me to dare to dream bigger. I know on the other end of this sadness, I'm gonna be rejoicing at all that's to come. And that has me so excited. I honestly just can't wait to take you guys along. I have missed being in the garden so much. This season of transition and me not being as hands-on, like last night, literally, Nathan and I spent hours covered in dirt, pulling grass, pulling dead plants, and he was like, I miss this. I'm like, you miss this? <laughs> you don't even know, like, my heart needed time in the garden, and with the busyness of moving and transitioning, I haven't got to spend the time in the garden like I usually do. And so I am so excited to get my hands in the soil. I'm so excited to kind of push pause on everything else and just dive headfirst into planting the new gardens and preparing for the fall and showing you guys that it is possible. You can have a few raised beds on a small plot of land and you can do a lot. You do not have to have a large space to make impact. And that is what this farm taught me. This farm taught me that my dreams are worth pursuing that you can make a huge difference on a small plot of land, that that is still worth pursuing. And at the end of the day, growing food always matters. It is, it is an act that you can do that always makes a difference in a positive way. You don't even have to have raised beds, guys. I mean, you can be doing this in containers. You know, there's so many different ways you can grow food to meet the needs of where you are. I think more than anything, I'm a little bit more sympathetic because this is really the first transition, large transition I've had to go through in my adult life. We moved here before, but you know, I had a smaller garden. It wasn't anything on the scale. 
And so I'm learning to be a lot more sympathetic for other people going through the situation I'm going through. I'm moving and uprooting. Obviously, Jess and Maya, my, my heart goes out to them as they've completely uprooted and you know went to several different states. I know, I know that's hard. Um, I actually talked to Jessica the other day. I know she's missing her garden, so I'm gonna plant one heck of a garden and I'm gonna make her proud in the season that she can't have one. Uh, but I am walking through the garden this morning soaking it in a little bit more than I think I have in the past. And I can't believe I'm actually saying goodbye to my farm. If there's one thing I could encourage you guys to do, it's dare to dream bigger. <laughs> I think I've made it known um, just throughout, you know, the duration of my YouTube channel that I'm a dreamer, an unapologetic dreamer, right? I mean, I'm one of those that like, I have some lofty, crazy dreams that I actually believe they're gonna happen. And this farm was a huge representation of that to me. This farm was a fixer-upper. This farm was in the middle of nowhere around people I didn't know and it was hard and I was mad. I didn't want to move here <laughs> but I see now how much this farm it truly did mold me. It humbled me. It taught me so many valuable life lessons. And it molded me into the gardener I am today. And that's a bold gardener. I am a bold gardener who dares to dream wild big dreams, to grow a stinking boatload of food, to feed the masses, to teach the masses. There are so many things. And although I'm walking through the farm today, looking at things, soaking it in for what may be the last time that I actually get to just walk through the farm and I'm not loading up trailers or loading up our car to move, I'm realizing that I'm laying this season down in my life to pick up a sweeter, richer season that I have prayed and believed and dared to dream those big dreams for. And for me, walking away from this is walking into something so much bigger that I'd hoped for for so long. And that is an incredible feeling. Ugh, I was actually not sad last night. <laughs> I was not sad last night. Now I'm getting a little sentimental. So yesterday was a big day. We moved uh, the pod. We stayed in the new house. I'm actually heading uh, to the new farm right now. I'm gonna take you guys with me because at the end of the week, I've got a lot in store. And I honestly just can't wait to take you guys along for the ride. Um, you guys have been such a huge supporter of my dreams and the goals that we have and we're going to have new goals and we're going to have bigger dreams and we're going to have more possibilities and it's exciting. It's exciting to know that I have a community of people behind me and supporting me in what I do and I cannot thank you guys enough. So let's say goodbye to this farm and head to the new one. All right girls, are we loaded? Yes. Are we ready to go home to our new home? Yes. You ready to go to your new home, June? Yeah! All right, all right, we'll see you at the new house. Welcome home. Welcome home. All right, we have officially made it home. <laughs> what do you think? Can you believe this is our house? It looks so much different now. It does. It looks so much different. We are slowly starting to bring things over. I'll be honest, it feels a little different calling this space home. This is officially our new home and our new farm. And it seems wild. I walk in here and I envision what Jessica's space looked like and knowing that I now get to come into this home and make it my own. I get to walk through the gardens and start clearing them out and replanting things. Every single day I feel like a new level of realness kind of sets in. A realness of how amazing God is. <laughs> 
how much he works out all the fine details, how much he cares about me and pursues me. And this right here, walking into this home, calling it my home, calling it my farm, is such a fulfillment of dreams coming true. <laughs> I can look out and see Jessica's garden and I can just envision all the possibilities and all the promise and all the hope that's going to take place on this farm. And I'm immediately starting to just have all these new dreams and these new visions and I'm casting that vision over this farm, over our community, over our family. And although I've been worried and I've been stressed about is the house going to sell, is it not going to sell, as soon as I walked in here, everything just kind of went away. I just had this overwhelming piece of like, you are walking in the purpose that I was called to. And I'm gonna cast vision and I'm gonna dream boldly and I'm gonna walk that out and I'm gonna teach you guys and I'm gonna bring you along for the journey. And I cannot wait for the next chapter of making this farm the new Whispering Willow Farm. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'll talk to you soon.